So now that you have an overview of what JSON actually is, it's um, we'll, we'll work so much with this so you'll start understanding it as we move forward. But this is JSON. So what does BSON bring to the table compared to JSON? Well, uh, let's just read the, the, the quote here. Uh, MongoDB rep represent JSON documents in binary encoded format called BSON behind the scenes. So binary JSON, right? It extends the JSON model to provide additional data types and to efficiently for encoding and decoding within different languages. So it's, it says it's better encoded, decoded, so it's easier to save this data and to, um, to, uh, yeah, to decode and encode the data, that's what I'm trying to say. And it also adds some data types. So what are those types? Well, let's have a look. So it has some object ID. That's a very important thing. It's a way for us to store specific information, a specific ID, for each of our documents in the database. So if you don't remember documents, go back to the last video. That's a term you need to learn. It also brings strings, it brings timestamps, it brings dates. And these are the ones that, well, you don't have that representation in the normal JSON documents. That's so basic, but you do have that. So if you wanna dive into what a JSON document actually can do, let's have a look at json.org, and you'll see there are things like this, array, pairs, objects, but you do not have these very specific, like an object ID, a string, a timestamp, dates. They do not exist in a normal JSON document, so this is an extension, the BSON. So that's BSON, it's an extension of JSON, and it's the way we store data inside a Mongo database. Those two things are the most important thing to know. Now let's make some Mongo, let's start using it. See you in the next lesson where we'll start working with the Mongo database.